Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to create a very fun, super simple green look for St. Patrick's Day. So if you are interested to see how I created this eye look, then keep on watching. All right, so right now I'm just priming my eye with my LA Girl Concealer. I put a little bit more than I usually do for this look, uh, just because. This look isn't going to take long at all. And I'm just making sure I'm blending that nice and in. And once I have it nice and blended, I go right in with my colors. So first I'm going in with the shade Green Fill by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on my outer B, outer third of the eye. And I'm just taking this, um, what is this? This is the Eco Tools brush. It's like an angle fluffy brush. And I'm just really getting my brush in there. Getting it nice and coated. And I'm taking that and I'm just pressing that on the outside like that. Making sure I'm really, really um, packing that on. So I'm like, I'm doing a a press and slightly swipe motion. I noticed with these um, these pigments from Pinky Rose, like the more you blend, the more you blend the color away. So that's why you have to really be um, light-handed when blending these colors on, because you don't want them to fade. All right, so going back in with a little bit more, and don't be scared to take it up to the brow oh, excuse me don't be scared to take it up to the brow you guys all right so next i'm taking another eco tools brush this is like a flat shader brush and i'm going in the shade punky Punk, yeah i'm going in the shade punky for my pinky rose palette and i'm just pressing it in like i did with the other shade making sure my um brush is nice and coated I like the shades in this palette, but again, I feel like you have to work them a certain way. And I'm just taking that and pressing it in like we did the other one. Like that. And this, don't be afraid to go over the other one because that helps blend it, blend out the edges near the brow. Now for this one, I did have to like take a minute to really pat it down and everything. Now if you feel it went too far, don't worry because we're going to blend it all together later. But right now I just want the pigment to really pop. And again, I'm just pressing this. For this one, I really press. I don't really swipe. I don't really press and swipe because I don't want the color to like really fade. And I didn't use a concealer. I didn't use like a legit eye primer. But I would suggest like be like a, um, I don't know. I feel like they may perform differently with the eye primer. I haven't tried it. And next I'm taking another uh, flat shader brush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dual India Brush. And I'm going in the shade Smash. I'm taking a flat side and the same thing I've been doing all along, just taking it, patting it. Make sure you really, you really want to coat the brush. These shades have a little, well, a lot of pickup, but. And then I'm just taking that and I'm pressing it in. And I'm even going over the last shade. I find that the lighter shades from any brand, they usually have a lot of fallout. Uh, I went all the way to my, to whatever, the inner corner. And I took the other side and then I'm just Lightly blending the edges like that. And for this side, I took the, ooh, that's a fallout, sorry. I took this part where I was putting the shadow right here, 
taking the same brush I'm not putting any more product on it and I'm blending it up into the brow bone so it gives it a little nice brow bone highlight over the darker greens and it blends it all together go in with a smaller pencil brush and just kind of blend that out so it's not too harsh and I'm also using the pencil brush to tap in some more color and the parts where I feel like it's it is faded Now, if you feel like the darker green got lost a little, just take the brush, not adding any more product on it, and I'm just tapping it to blend it. In any areas you feel that you that you feel that needs to be blended more, just take the brush that you used to apply the color and just lightly blend it with no more product on it. And kind of do the same for this one because the middle color always gets lost and I'm just tapping on the border between the colors and blending gently blending and the same for this and now I'm just trying to get the nice ombre to my liking on both sides don't want to make sure it's too off and this part right here is bugging me because my eye keeps leaking upwards and as you can see it like we're in the shadow right there this is what we're looking like so far now I do have to go ahead and uh, clean up and do the rest of my face and do something with this eye it keeps leaking but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back to show you the finished product all right guys and this is the finished look let me know what you guys think. I think the colors look good, but if I get like close, you can see like, you know, where it just starts to fade or whatever. But anyway, this is the finished look. And this is like a, you know, simple, very simple look. Easy for beginners because you're just blending it all over your eyes. There's no rules. It doesn't have to be even or anything. And I went ahead and did a green lip. This is the Area 51 lipstick by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Uh, I typically don't go with like a whole bunch of color on the lips and lids, but I feel like this will be make it nice and fun and cutesy. You can also pull this look off with a nude lip as well. It's whatever you want, but yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, let me know if you create it. Make sure you follow me on my social medias. I'll have them all listed down below. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your time. If you plan on going partying on St. Patrick's Day, if you celebrate it or whatever, uh, make sure you be safe, okay? Go in a group, especially ladies, go in a group and make sure there's a designated person that's not going to get drunk. Even if you're in an Uber, okay? Because you, you don't want all of, all of your whole group to be drunk in an Uber and whatnot. Because, you know, they be shady too. But, um... But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.